Edge and the Judgment Day are carrying out another typical sermon-like speech on Raw. He's just announced that change is truly here in WWE, so much so that they have their own event. Judgment Day is indeed coming. He also says that Judgment Day is open for new members. He welcomes people to see the light and come forth. We then see a figure running around the ring. Ripley, Priest and Edge are all confused but Edge steps forward and says, I see we have another person who has seen the light. Come forward, reveal yourself. The person runs up the ramp. It's Nikki Cross. Edge says, ha, perfect. Nikki, I've been expecting you. Nikki replies swiftly and she says, oh, I'm not here for you, I'm here for him. Edge is even more confused now. He says, who? Nikki looks at him and says, he's behind you. Did we just see what we think we saw? Nikki Cross is just laughing at all three members. And everybody in the building knows that this is not good news for Judgment Day or the entire WWE. The next week, Edge and Damian Priest are watching Rhea Ripley's match with Liv Morgan on the monitor. While they're watching, they see Nikki Cross again. So they immediately run out to the arena. Nikki, again, is just running around the ring. Rhea and Liv at this point have both stopped in their tracks. Nikki is completely unhinged, and this is getting even weirder by the second. At this point, Edge and Priest are on the ramp. Nikki spots them. She runs up the ramp, and then she starts laughing at them again. Edge and Priest are clearly unnerved. Edge and Damian Priest are rattled. Nikki is laughing still. Did we just see Joe Gacy standing in front of them? Rhea Ripley attempts to attack Nikki, but she counters it. She lays out Rhea Ripley. Edge and Priest look like they've seen a ghost. What on earth is going on? We're embarking on the tumultuous ride towards Judgment Day. The next week, Edge is plotting with Damian Priest. He reminds Priest that Tonight, he's got a match, but he knows that Wyatt, Cross, and Gacy will probably show up in some form or another. He says, Rhea and I will be waiting, but let's keep this meeting short in case someone's listening. Then sure enough, later that night, Priest is in the middle of his match. Nikki Cross comes through the crowd. She's watching the match unfold, but as Edge had planned, they were ready. Ripley comes through the crowd and her and Cross begin brawling through the fans. Edge then comes out of the entrance. He's screaming, come on Wyatt, where are you? Show yourself! All the while, Priest is trying to focus on the match, but it's difficult with everything that's going on. Cross and Ripley still fighting in the crowd, and Edge is on the ramp demanding that Wyatt come out. The lights come back on, and Gacy is in the ring. He wipes out Priest, and then just as quick as he takes him out, he slides out of the ring, and walks up the ramp towards Edge. Edge starts to advance towards Gacy to get revenge for attacking Priest. But Gacy says three infamous words. Let him in. Once again, the lights come back on, but this time, Edge is standing there alone. Not even Gacy is there anymore. Priest is down in the ring, Ripley is down in the crowd, and Edge is furious. He's been one up twice now by the mind games of Wyatt. Edge is out of control the next week on Raw. He's screaming down the barrel of the camera. He's saying, enough Wyatt. If you're gonna be a coward and not face me, I guess I'll have to come and find you. Behind Edge on the TV screen, Appears Joe Gacy, and he has a message for Edge. He says, Oh, Adam, I see you've started to get quite angry with us. Well, instead of being angry, why don't you see this as a chance to grow? Why don't you see this as a chance to be a better person? Just like I have, just like Nikki has. You see, 
when he took us in, he taught us how to be loyal, how to be better human beings. But I'm sorry, let me answer your question. You want to know where he is? He's in your head, Adam. That's where he is. Edge punches the TV, smashing the screen, and he storms off. Then we see in the backstage area, Rhea Ripley is hunting Nikki Cross as well. She's furious. Rhea is asking whoever she can if they've seen her, but no one has, or at least they're too scared to admit that they have. So Ripley decides that she's going to take it into her own hands, and she heads out to the ring to try and coax out Nikki. And she's demanding that Cross show herself. She says she wants to be face to face. No more mind games. She doesn't have to wait long because here comes Nikki Cross. But instead of getting in the ring, she stops. Ripley is calling her in. She wants to fight. Nikki is deadpan. What on earth is happening? She's frozen. Ripley then advances on Cross. She wants to get her hands on her. And after a few seconds of darkness, we hear some sounds coming from the ring. It sounds like fighting. And then when the lights come back on, despite attacking her in the dark, it's Nikki Cross who is down and Rhea Ripley is fired up. She says, not this time, Nikki. Not this time. No more magic tricks. Let's fight properly and I'll show you again why I'm the most dominant woman in this company. Fight me at Judgment Day. We're now just a week out from the now eerily poised Judgment Day event and right in the middle of a match, we get some weird interference to the broadcast. The match continues because the interference isn't in the building, but it's only on the TV feed. But then the match completely cuts out and all of a sudden we see Joe Gacy in what looks like the Firefly Funhouse. He says that Judgment Day is upon us. And I'm not talking about the wrestling event. No, that's merely the platform. The true judgment is coming for Edge, Damien, and Rhea. He is guiding us. He is showing us the true light. Not some dim, directionless light that Edge preaches. He knows the way. We followed the buzzards. Now we have a true direction. He saved us. And now, we can save all of you. Priest has infiltrated the funhouse. He grabs Gacy and he says to him, I followed the buzzards all right. They led me right to you. Now let's take you to your judgment day. The event is upon us, and earlier in the night, Nikki Cross and Rhea Ripley went to war in a hellacious battle. Cross got the win after going under the ring, which completely threw Ripley off her game. When Cross returned from under the ring, she was wearing a very familiar mask. This totally rattled Ripley, and Cross locked in the mandible claw. Ripley passed out. Cross then disappeared through the crowd again. We're now late in the show. Still no sign of Edge, Priest or Gacy. Main event has just finished and Roman Reigns is leaving the arena. It seems as though the show is over. Till. Here they are, Edge and Priest, who have Joe Gacy right where they want him. They get him into the ring, and Edge is looking down the barrel of the camera, and he says, Wyatt, we followed the buzzards and it led us right to one of your little fireflies. But we're going to extinguish that fire unless you show yourself. Come on, Bray, come forth, accept your judgment.
Let me in. <laughs>